subversives, seducers, wantons, all. What lively company. They lived the first summer of love. Sally! Let's not live to be old. Let the grim tyrant take us in youth. Lord Byron and Shelley, poets living in exile. To attack God, King, and merit in one piece is quite an accomplishment. The outrage <laughs> and the envy of high society. He considers us brothers and sisters of the revolution. For one summer, they were tied in the bonds of friendship. He is the greatest poet of the age. And its greatest scandal. For one summer, they were enriched in the danger of their own lives. Glimpse the demon behind the mask. Harry loves you. Harry loves you. Ah! There's a the terrible danger in this, Shelley. I will go wherever experience takes me. I must. To feeling tremblingly alive. Shelley and their summer of friendship, a summer that would forever change their lives, a summer the world would never forget. Philip Anglum, Laura Dern, Alice Krieger, Eric Stoltz, and Alex Winter in a Vaughn Passer film, Haunted Summer. It was 1969, Roger, we and there was one question on everybody's mind. What's going on? In the white room with black it was the year the war came home. You must be really proud of your brother, huh? It's not my war. Everyone's entitled to his own opinion. Not that good. It was the wrong time to be a soldier. You want to go to Vietnam and get your face shot off? Not particularly. A hard time to be a parent. Don't die. But for Scott and Ralph, yeah, yeah, it was a good time. We had naked people giving us free food. To have a great time. You know, we're going to change the world, Ralph -o. There must be some kind of... His brother is over there risking his life for our country. We don't even know He's it. He's dead. Liar! Don't keep pushing me! I want you to stay with me and fight. Relax, Cliff. It's the age of Aquarius. From the Academy Award-winning writer of On Golden Pond, wow. Robert Downey Jr. Trying to make me paranoid or something? Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> you are so weird. 1969. People are going to look back on 1969 and say that's the year everything changed.
You're dead! I'm not! I hit you! Dead not! Dead too! Dead not! Dead not! Referee! Chunk sales are down. And our research has shown that since Sweet and Puffy has introduced their new Stay Fresh foil packets in their snack food line, consumer preference index has risen significantly in select. Vince the muck, are you babbling idiot? Will you talk English? Yes, sir. Well, sir, the competition, sir. The enemy, Vince the mucker. Yes, sir. The enemy, sir, has seized the advantage. Advantage, my ass. They're killing us out there. They're bombing us back to Phnom Penh. Can somebody tell me why? <clears throat> Well, um, the, uh, oh, taste shut factor... Up. Yesterday, on the field of battle, we stomped the yellow water out of those sweet and puffy bastards. But in the marketplace, they're massacring us alive! Well, sir, demographics have shown that... It's this war, gentlemen. Out and out! Cut off their balls! Balls, sir! Tear their bloody hearts out and eat them! War! War, sir! Oh, shut up! If you'll look at the cost projections... I couldn't believe it. He just flew by all those bullets. Our sales could be tripled. <laughs> that was great. Wasn't it great? Johnny, Steve, hey. I need some input, Johnny. I... Is that the new office stationery? No. Yes, it is. Sign right here on the blue line. And don't press hard, please. Ow! <laughs> it's about time. What? I wanted these three weeks ago. Oh, really? I don't know which one says Don Juana. I think it's this one. No, this one. Oh! I need is guys. I worked all weekend on hey, this. Here comes
Eddie's after work. Eddie's, gentlemen. Company, get what? Warren, I'll talk to you later. Hi, Ann. Bye. Want to see my Purple Heart? See, so you boys played cowboys and Indians again this weekend. It's not cowboys and Indians, Ann. It's capture the flag. Actually, it's more than just capture the flag. It's survival of the fittest. And I'm telling you, you can't get this kind of experience sitting behind your desk. It's basic, primal, hormonal. A man comes at you. Is he friend or is he foe? Is he going to shoot or is he going to run? It's great therapy. So how long before you're cured? Well, I think we should forget about all this, Anne, and have some dinner. Well, what's wrong with a little dinner? Look, maybe we could get to know each other. Maybe become friends. Maybe... I don't think so. Make it lunch, okay? Good morning! Glad to see you made it. I worked all weekend, sir. Howdy, Colonel. You know, I, I thought you would have taken today off after yesterday. What a trooper. Good morning, sir. I finished my report and I thought you... Damn! I wish you could have seen this guy. I was working. Would have made you proud of this company. Watch this boy, young lady. He's a rising star. I'd like you to look at my report. You know, since that wimp Dinkman went AWOL, I've had my eye on you. Colonel. What? This report is a virtual blueprint for turning the snack division around. I've got cost projections over the next five quarters that will... Thank you, young lady. Darwin, take a look at this. Yes, sir. Let me know what you think. Right, sir. Carry on. Nope. Give me that. He wants me to look at Mark, it. Mark, give me that. I'm supposed Mark, to take a look at it. mine. Give <laughs> to me! At ease, Miss Bloom. Your lawyer called it $0800. Your wife's lawyer called it $1,000. Mr. Dinkman's lawyer called... Dinkman's dead meat. Well, he choked on the hunky chunk. I'll bet he did. And your wife's waiting in your office. Ah! Oh, dear, I hope you didn't hurt yourself. God damn it, Florence. What are you doing here? I'm returning your rocket launcher. I'm redecorating the New York apartment, and it clashes. Redecorating? Damn, paint barely right from the left. If, if you think I'm bankrolling this, you're crazy. We're getting a divorce. Why, darling, that's the stiffest thing you've pointed at me in years. And if you think I'm settling for this, it's just a fuss. Oh! I told you, that's my final offer. Don't final offer me, unless you want to go to court, you tightwad cookie pusher. Tight? Me? You spent 200 grand a year on clothes. Oh, spare me. Don't chew your nails in here. It smells like a beauty parlor. I notice you look lousy in pink, Florence. You look like cotton candy upchop. <laughs> I want half the company. You got balls. Someone in the family had to have them. And I want custody of the chopper. What? You heard me. Damn smudge. Females don't need helicopters. I beg your pardon. It is marvelous for shopping. My chopper shopping? You have no idea the kind of service you get when you land a combat helicopter on Bloomingdale's. That does it. That's too far. You want to go to court, we go to court. Yeah, what? Your lawyer's on line one, your wife's lawyer's on two. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> of course we're fighting. We're getting a divorce. What did you think we were humping? Hey, don't tell me not to fight. And don't tell me not to shout. How could anything I say prejudice this case? I'll shout if I want to. This is my divorce, and no pansy-ass lawyer is going to sap all the fun out of it. Oh, I'm sure nothing I could say would inflame him. His flame petered out years ago. My flame never petered, you frigid helicopter stealing, over-decorated clothes hound. Oh, yeah? You always were a lousy shot. Lousy shot. Lousy lay. Lousy husband. Out! Sir, I would like to discuss a serious injustice. What the hell do you want, young lady? Barnes, sir. Anne. I'm busy, Barnes, Anne. Anne Barnes, sir. And I was wondering if you could check this out yourself. 
Darwin's on it. He'll tell me, I'll tell you. That's the chain of command. Well, sir, I was... What? Well, sir, I'd like to be considered for Dinkman's job, too. And I thought if you got to know my work... Also, I have an MBA at the Wharton School of Business. And you think that qualifies you to command men on the corporate battlefield? Well, I... Have you ever been to war, young lady? That's the only school I care about. Teaches you to shoot from the hip, hit him in the gonads. Well, I could shoot from the hip and hit him in the gonads, sir. Colonel... You want this job? Then raise an army and fight for it. Hey, Anne. Anne. Don't shoot. Colonel told me to move you. They're remodeling Dickman's old office. They're gonna knock down your wall. <laughs> well, does my new office have a window? Ferns need light. And of course you do have a window. And you're right next to the bulk mail. Very convenient. <laughs> Uh, gonna come by your office but they said you moved <laughs> ah yeah this is nice Sam. what are you doing I take everything so goddamn seriously because before. nobody takes me seriously but they're going to I didn't start this war but I'm gonna finish it Watching the game. He was a plant monitor all the plants died. Oh. Sam, did you look at the garbage disposal? I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. Did you forget about the garbage too? Sorry, I had a tough day. Hey, Snookums, are there any more beers out there? Yeah, just a minute. Here. Well, the Irish have come out here early in this game. Both of them on this is the Ruth and two friends are coming over for dinner. Katie, why didn't you ask my permission first? I asked Daddy. He said fine. Honey, how about those beers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, please. station in here. Hey, Snookums, so what's the matter? Come on. I'm sorry about the garbage. It's okay. Do you want a glass? No, no, no. Why don't you sit down, take it easy, watch the game with us? Honey, I don't have time. You gotta learn how to relax. Relax? You know, if I didn't have to take care of this house, these kids, two flat tires and mowing this lawn all weekend while you guys were out playing cowboys and Indians. Not cowboys and Indians. Hey, don't jump on me. The boss says play war games. I play war games. And it's good to play war games. It helps you relax. Helps you blow off a little bit of tension. Helps you blow off a little bit of stress. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just go in your room and play bar game until supper time, okay? Someday all this will be yours. Hot diggity. <laughs> no kidding. You'll find the right girl, you'll get Dinkman's job. It's no problem. Not necessarily. Hey, come on, buddy. That crazy woman will never raise an army. Wait, what? what? H honey, did you say there was a woman raising an army? I didn't know uh, women could uh, play that game. Well, yeah, well, te technically it's possible, but... <laughs> Would you relax already? I mean, who's going to join our team? So the Irish were able to get a first down, but nothing on the second series. So now, Claire Keel, who has been... A man leaps out at you. Is he friend or is he foe? Will he shoot or will he run? 
Will you shoot or will you run? And if so, where? The woods teeming with the enemy, ready to skin you alive. It's you against the elements. The elements against yourself. Yourselves against the enemy. Mano a mano. Hermano a hermano. Who's Hermano? Sounds like living in New York. I truly don't have time for this. Me neither. I don't like getting dirty. <clears throat> I knew a Hernando once. Gentlemen, we've got trouble. As you know, the enemy has often stooped to treacherous tactics, and today is no exception. Today we find ourselves faced with an odious new weapon. Our intelligence sources intercepted this weapon before the initial onslaught, but D-Day is next Monday, which leaves us no time to develop a counter-bingo offensive. Gentlemen, it's bleak. And now you see, you get the numbers off the box shops, and you put them how? Hey, this is supposed to be the express lane, sir. Okay, what you want to do is you want to make a line. Yeah. And you can go across or down or, you know, diagonally, whatever you want. And you get a trip to Hawaii. If you win. Hawaii is down. What are my chances of trading my card in on Palm Spring? Come on, sister, you got some paying customers here. Then you, stop pushing! Uh, hey, you're out of sweet puffy! Hey, move your hard hat before I move your hard ass! Ah, shut up, lady! You made a house? Oh, that's a pretty good house. What did you make? Look at the dinosaur. What is that, fire coming out of this? My gosh, that's a really good... And what do we have? What is... Oh, Joe, why are you come out of that puddle? Great. He forgot to call the exterminator. I'm telling you, Eddie Ann is real serious. He's already talked to some of the secretaries in the office. And I told you, women in business are bitches. Ann's not a bitch. Besides, war is no place for women. Of course not. They have no killer instinct. Die! Hi. Are you Ann Barnes? Yes. I'm Linda Fishbeck, reporting for duty. You two knew each other. Nolan! Mark! Okay, I gotta go. <sighs> he is so cute. No, thanks. Uh, he's a good catch. He's gonna go far. We're up for the same job. Oh. Well, it might be interesting to see what we could do with it, huh? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Do you really think that many wives would want to shoot their husbands? <laughs> I think I'd let you have all the fun, did you? Order. That's what we need. Order. One cannot kick ass without order. Mrs. Call me Florence. Anne, this is a great thing you're doing. You're burning a hole right up my husband's. You know what I mean. Rockets, red glare, bombs bursting in air. And we will be there. Solid. Hello? Hello, hello? 
Hello? Mark? Hey, Eddie. You're a traitor. It's the enemy. What are you, the thought police? Get on. Come on. Nobody eats hunky chunks. Why should I? I saw Linda and Ann talking today. Tell me about it. She's enlisted. We had a big fight last night. What, the perfect housewife? Yeah, she says she has to grow and stretch. We stopped having kids so she wouldn't do that. I don't think this is the same thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hector? Hector! Spill on aisle 11. Well, what do you think? We have an army? Well, we've got bodies. We've got bodies, but do we have soldiers? We have a lot of work to do. Well, that reminds me, I gotta get supper started. Supper? supper. Oh, sorry, it's a force of habit. You know what we have to do? We have to do some exercises and get into shape. Do we have to fire guns? Right, target practice and strategy, and somebody should make up some plans. Wait a minute, girls. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. First things first. Like what? Priorities. Priorities? Let me tell you about the game we're playing. I took the time to work it out. If we're ever gonna break these chains, we got to know what it's all about. Out of giving in and making up and cutting out, been living under house arrest. They got us walking on the highest wire, and we're doing it without a net. Don't fool yourself, girl. You know you. It's a bad situation Manipulation Just charge it to my husband Now, we're ready to start <laughs> Priorities <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bevy of beauties. I love that jumpsuit. It goes so nicely with her gun. Okay, ready. Aim. Fire. Don't worry about it, girls. So we didn't hit the bullseye the first time. What's the big deal? Oh, Eddie's gonna kill me. So I had to Jackson Pollock and hang it over the sofa. All right, girls. Just one more time for good luck. I have to make dinner. No, no, there'll be no dinner tonight. Let him eat cake. Neil's a diabetic. And make it tofu. Dude, my back is killing me. I gotta go, too. Same time tomorrow, ladies. Don't be discouraged, girls. Before we're finished here, I'll have you looking like Russian gymnasts. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, we're certainly not going to quit. This is our first day. I don't know. Maybe Eddie's right. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm not a soldier. I'm a checkout girl. Wait a minute. Listen to this. Mercenary will train you for combat survival and victory. Certified all tactical weapons, ninja master, full or part-time. Reasonable rates, quick and dirty satisfaction guaranteed. And look at this, there's even an 800 number.
You must be Klaus. You look just like your picture. So happy you could make it. I'm Florence. Good morning, Linda. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, Eddie, soldier. Uh, he's one of us. Sorry, Mr. Sherman. Oh. Jumbo, you're hired. Let me introduce you to Linda. Linda, this is Klaus. Klaus, Linda. Well, nice talking to you. Come on in, I'll introduce you around. Everybody, this is Klaus. I thought they'd say that. Is he here yet? Dreams do come true. God, you're large. Uh, and I bet you're hungry. Are you hungry? We have some quiche, a salad. Who sent for me? We did. Oh, damn, what's the code word? Blood runs red to make victory's bed. Yes, that's it. Very poetic. We want to learn to fight. Who are we going after? The Libyans? The Ngome? The Red Menace? <sighs> Our husbands. Ladies, this is a joke. I'm a professional killer. I topple governments. And I murder for pleasure and profit. And I eat husband for breakfast. That's all well and good, but can you teach us how to fight? Can I teach you how to fight? Lady, you want to learn how to disembowel a man with your bare hands? Just crack them bones, crack them skulls, and then you just crack them guts! And then you pop out an eyeball with this little finger, and then twist the man's tongue just so it falls onto his lap. And then you just take his ear. Oh, uh, wait a minute. It's not that kind of a war. Well, uh, we don't want to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, I suppose maiming now, too. Oh, no, no. I'm, uh, flexible. What are you doing? We're in training. Klaus says I'm a natural. This is our home, not I, Fort Dix. No, 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 no. I'm not maneuvers. What do you mean? You are my wife. Yes, I am your wife. I'm not your slave. Hey, come inside, Linda. Come inside right now. Back up. Hey, would you mind your own business? Holy. 
see these two fingers? Yeah. They're registered weapons in three countries. I can believe that. So once they leave the lady alone, she's got a job to do. Yeah, well, you know, I wouldn't try anything about you because I know a few moves myself. So you just, just better be careful, man. You just better watch yourself. Honey, I'll, I'll see you at dinner. Great dinner, huh? I like pizza. I'm telling you, the guy's a redwood. He's some sort of judo expert. He was going to poke my eyes out. You know what? I can't believe that Ann's going through with this. All I know is that Linda's changing, and I don't like it. Eddie, relax. <laughs> She's your wife, not your slave. <laughs> she said the same thing. That's amazing. Right? You know, um, I really think they're serious about this. Serious? This guy is a killer. <laughs> General. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. My career is not a joke to me. Have you given the Colonel my report yet? Oh, uh, not yet. Oh. Oh? Oh! So what's supposed to mean? It means you're afraid of the competition. Afraid that my report will get me the Dinkman job. That's why you haven't read it. That's bullshit. Then read it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh what? Yeah. A little reverse psychology. Yeah. I'll read it when I'm good and ready. Fine. Fine. Hey, Snooker, would you want to bring your lamb chop a beer? And on a star spangled night, my love. No. You can rest your head on my shoulder. Start shooting now, Rube. Give him something to worry about. And. And. Warren, they're taking the ridge. You've changed. You're not the same sweet little girl I met six months ago. Maybe I should just go home. What happened to the girl who used to cry over the sound of music? You become obsessed. Are you expecting somebody? Hi. Peace pipe. Warren, uh, Warren, you know Mark Darwin. We work together at the office. How you doing? This is a really nice place you got. It's very, uh, clean. So you got a lot of miles in the old dust buster? It's your mother. Tell her I said hi. What are you doing here? I didn't know you lived with someone, Ann. I don't live with him. 
Damn, your face is getting all flushed. And your, your heart, it's pounding. Is there something you're trying to tell me, Ann? Get out of here. What? And take this with you. No, I'm not taking it. You gotta keep it. It's a peace pipe, goddammit. What for? I read your report. That's right. I gave it to the colonel. I recommended it to him. I thought it was good. Thank you. It's very nice. Well, it was real good. I'm impressed. Why? Because a girl did it? No, I don't know, because it was thorough. Sorry. Me too. What? I'm sorry, Dan. Oh. This is your mother, Warren. Listen to me. Well, anyway, I suggested that he, uh, that he look at it, and he'll probably go for it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so you can forget about your silly women's army now. Why? Why what? Why is it silly? Well, because, you know, women shouldn't... I mean, their place really is. In the kitchen, making babies? Yeah, no, not... Anne. Get out of here. Anne, come on. Get out of here. Mom wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, what a shit. No, oh, men are shits. My husband was king shit. <laughs> a big turd. Mm. Eddie's not a shit. He just... He just doesn't understand. He's lazy. Well, then he's a lazy shit. That's diarrhea. <laughs> Actually, a lazy shit is constipation. Constipation? No, Eddie's not constipated. You should see him. He doesn't even finish eating a meal, and he is on his way to... Ladies, please, you're making me nauseous. <laughs> the colonel hasn't been regular in years. His colon's all tied up in a knot. I think when they tied his tubes, they got the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could beat that shit! Just make him notice me once. Take a look at me. It doesn't make any difference, though. I tell you, Eddie looks at me all the time, but he only sees what he wants to see. A servant. Exactly. Yeah. Klaus. <laughs> oh, Klaus looks at me, and he sees a fighting machine. Mm, I like that. I wish Eddie wasn't so lazy with our life. I don't want to hurt him. Mark's so arrogant. Ladies, to war. To, to war. war. Come on, girls, come on. Kick him in the balls! Yeah! Kick him in the balls! Everybody kick him in the nuts! Hey, that girl, doesn't that feel good? Husbands everywhere! You know, I can understand the excitement menacing in war. It's homosexual, the heroics, the discipline. Move it, Tommy Bob. See that? Move it. See that? Move it. Yeah. That thing touched her ass. Son of a bitch. Kill him. Right. Come on! What have we done? She's out of the closet. That's it, Mary. Get Get Almost ready. Okay, supper time's over. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Kate. Let's move it. Double time. Double time. Double time. March. 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 <laughs>
it in one set to Mr. Whiskers. Where's the baby elephant? Where is the daily young cat of the flying trapeze? We have to reel that little soldier back. She's going AWOL on us. She's just excited. No talking in the ranks, ladies. Let's sip it up. Excited. Honey, she's seeing blood. I should know I'm married to one. Why are you picking us up, Daddy? Your mother has boot camp. Why, Daddy? She's got a crazy idea. I never help her on the house. No, you never do, Dad. Hi. What the hell are you doing? I'm washing dishes. You wiped out target practice. Target practice? That's it. That's it. That's it. Get, get away from those dishes. Those are my dishes. Mine. I'll leave the apron at the front door. Ready? Fire! Somebody tell me what the hell is happening with our stock. Well, sir, it seems somebody's buying it. But we don't know why. I'll tell you why. It's a hostile takeover. It is unusual activity, but it's not necessarily hostile. Don't tell me it's not hostile. They're all hostile. It's a hostile world. We don't know who it is. How much am I paying you not to know? I gotta read it in the paper? Sir! Don't bother me now, Fitzdemarca. Where the hell have you been? Sneak attack, sir. What I tell you? Hostile. It's hostile than hostile, sir. Sweet and puppy. They're trying to take us over. So we'll take them over. You can't do that, sir. They're a private company. And that's not the worst of it. Someone bought Sweet and Puppy. Could be somebody friendly. It's your wife, sir. Your wife bought Sweet and Puffy, sir. My wife? What are you talking about? She doesn't buy company, she buys clothes. No wonder she's such a lousy dresser. For the past 15 years, sir, she's been playing the stock market, buying futures, selling short, and God knows what else. Yeah, but how much did she make? Did she make enough to buy controlling interest in this company? I don't know, sir. To take over the board of directors? I don't know, sir. To be my boss? See if she's into some serious box, sir. Yeah, what? The missus on line one, sir. I should have known you weren't spending that goddamn money on clothes, you lying, cheating, poorly dressed, hostile trollop. Hostile, my foot. I'm willing to offer you two dollars above closing price, and that is not hostile. Damn it, Florence, why didn't you tell me about these tendencies sooner? We could have made a killing together. Well, never ask. Two dollars above closing. If you don't want it, your stockholders will. I'd adore a good proxy fight. I know just what I'd wear. This war business isn't helping your personality, Florence. You've got a lot of anger in you. You haven't seen anything yet. What are you going to do, sick your girl army on me? My girl army is going to slice through your wimps like a chainsaw through butter. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I don't suppose you'd like to make a little bet on the war. No, no. A <laughs> bet? What have you got in mind? I'll bet all my stock against yours we win the war games. You're on. My stock against your stock. The winner takes hunky chunks. You got yourself a deal. I got him. Ha. I got it. Ha. That's not the worst of it, sir. I got it, son. There is no worst. Oh, my God. Come on, you soft-blooded wimp. Take it out. 
What? Director Two, Watch. Three, four, fish back, don't talk in the ranks. Oh, Come on, geez. ladies, stop talking. <laughs> Mr. Marker, pick up that slack. Ow. I ain't doing this. I ain't coming back Saturday. I'm taking my mother-in-law to the racetrack. Hey, soldier, get back in line. Can't go, Nick. I'm not letting you go. That's bullshit. I can't help it. Hey, Nick, you're our strength. You're our fridge, Nick. It is bullshit. One, two, three, four. Oh, tell me something I don't know. To all of you who've come so far, <laughs> victory is yours. Yeah. Yeah. I only regret that I won't be there tomorrow to share it with you. What? I've taken on a very important assignment. Very dangerous. Very delicate. Very hush-hush. What? What? I can't say anymore. Not even by torture. Just know that the balance of peace in our time rests on the outcome. To Klaus and peace on Earth. To Klaus. To equality. Yeah. 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 To victory. To scorched earth policy. To poison pill. Ain't lad, you lousy red. I think we've created a monster. Sons couldn't have made me prouder. <laughs> And remember, no sex tonight. It weakens the knees. Are you okay? Yeah, Roger Wilco. <laughs> Roger Wilco. And I think you need to calm down. Oh, God, come on. I'm just, you know, I'm just gearing up for battle. Yeah, but what's going on? What do you mean? Are you okay? Yeah. No. I don't know. I had this really scary dream last night. Eddie and I were at the park where we used to go when we were in high school. Except I was covered with war paint. And Klaus is standing over me, pointing at Eddie. And I shot him in the heart. It's only a game. Yeah. I sure hope Eddie knows that. <laughs> Lamb chop. Don't chop me. If you want sex, call Rambo Stud Service. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. It's only a game. Yeah, right, only a game. Eddie, I'm trying to communicate. Yeah, like Mata Hari. You know, war is not a marital aid, Linda. <sighs> Fine. 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 You want a war? You got a war. Okay. Fine. You're gonna wake up the kids. Terrorist. Think for a hangover. So I see we're finally on the same team together. Just don't cramp my style. Yeah. Live a
Costumes don't Good win battles, march. men. Left turn, march. Eyes right, hot. Very forward, hot. She is a terrorist. Company, hot. Right face. I really can't believe you're going through with this. What's the matter? Pressure too much? Now, on behalf of myself and the other staff members, welcome to your field of glory. You are using a 68 caliber paint projectile. We are on the honor system. When the start gun fires, your object is to capture your enemy's flag. If any extension of your body gets hit, you're dead. If your hat is in the air and it gets hit, you're dead. If you fall and trip on your face and the bottom of your shoe gets hit, you're dead. After you've been hit, you lay down and pretend you are dead. If I yell freeze, I want you to make a slow U-turn and flash me your colors. After you have captured the flag, you will bring it to me and I'll be sitting over there waiting for you. If you're dead, you're dead. If you can walk, run. Anything in between? I get the leftovers. The morgue is over there! Use it! Maybe you should save time and lie down now. I'll show you a nice cold slab. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear anything about hitting below the belt. I do hope you wore your cup, darling, because when it comes to small objects, I'm a sharpshooter. <laughs> Wear your goggles, obey the rules, the referees are watching you. Good luck, move out! <laughs> Got him on the run. It's time to make the push. Take no prisoners. We infiltrate. Cut off their command posts and smash the scum. 
Do you mind? Oh. Sorry, generals. Sorry. I take the ridge, secure the field. Group one will take the ridge, two will secure the field. Aye, aye. All right. Ah! you weenies. Time for strategy. Sir, that isn't fair. That's strategy. Button it up, Mr. Tattletail. Yeah, but sir, I mean... Stow we... it, Darwin. That'll be it, sir. Demoralizes the enemy. We do it in the woods. I don't like it. It's too quiet. I can almost smell my husband's cologne. Really? Oh, he doesn't go anywhere without it. It's better than cutters for keeping bugs away. Works pretty well on me. Son of a bitch. 350 an hour! For 350 an hour, I don't need a stupid, stupid, stupid job! I quit! I quit! Strategy. First real woman I've seen all day. I saw that, you slimy, cheating skunk! Where is she? Where's the. You're dead, you scumbag! Die! Die! <laughs> Fenstalaga! That's, that's cheating. <gasps> ah! Mow it down, boys! Mow it down! Son of a bitch! Oh, damn, my best nail! Stupid game. Stupid job. Really stupid boss. Where's Darwin? I saw him walk off, sir. He's upset with Ann Barnes, sir. Barnes? Yes, sir, they make contact. Consorting with the enemy, find him! Softly, men. We're not alone. Stay close. I'll defend you. Ah! What the hell was that? Colonel, sir! Are you all right, sir? Where's the rest of your men, sir? Ambush! Commandos! A three squad, 10, 20, they swooped. I barely got away with my life. I 
I dropped five, maybe six of them. Good work, sir. Of course it was. Brilliant fighting. I nailed at least ten of the bastards. What goes on here? We're setting a trap, sir. Good work. Make it nice and deep. They should put a twist in their high heel plans. Any sign of Darwin yet? He's gone, sir. Boys, a disappointment. I want no chances taken. This game doesn't end until I say so. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Get rid of that judge now. On the double, sir. We have to get to the judge before they do. But where's the judge? All right, back to base. It's every sex for itself. Warrants, Linda, be careful. That'll fix those men. Oh, shit. I could be at home. I could be, I could be watching a ball game with my family. If I still have a family. Hey, Snookums! 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 She said don't call her Snookums. Oh, man. white thing. I've worked for you for over 20 years and taken all the hunky chunks I'm going to take. It's payback time. Couldn't be the colonel, not his pitch. This is getting creepy. Come on, where's my Linda? Where'd she go? Hey, ease up. Come on. You've got to let me down. I tell you, I'm Ann Barnes' boyfriend. Shut up! Call me bastard. Oh, God, what now? Linda? Linda! Warren! Oh, thank God you've come! Oh, my God, Linda, what have you done? Took a prisoner. Well, let him down. Warren, what are you doing here? And I think we're going to have to talk to this girl. Warren, were you spying on spying? me? Spying? He's covered with paint. How could you? Can we talk about this later? My crotch is killing me. Oh, could be a spy. Let's take him with us. He's my boyfriend. That's your boyfriend?
my wrists hurt. Oh, Warren, you did this to yourself. I can't believe that you're spying on me. That's low. Who's got the beer? It's time for a little Russian roulette. Okay, boys. One for you. And one for you. Now put him up against your forehead. What is this? Do it! Where's the men's flag? I don't, I don't know. know. General, this is ridiculous. Shh, shh. Where's our flag? Do we know? It's by the cabin. It's safe. All right. Okay. Where's the game judge? I don't, I don't know. know. Open the cans. Now. Oh! Right. What are they doing? Who is that man? Once again, boys. Oh. We've got all night. I, I don't know anything. Get me out of here! Would you shut up and play along, you wimp? Hit me with another one, torture lady. That's against the rules, sir. Rules? What rules? Oh, it was horrible. They tortured me. I feel so, so violated. Who the hell are you? I'm Warren, sir, and Barnes' boyfriend. You too? Take him away. He's a spy. Oh, oh. oh honey, is it time to go home yet? Get rid of him. No, he can prove useful. Yeah, leave him here. <laughs> But honey, let's just go Shut home up. and just uh, we're the kids and what are you doing? Ah. Oh jeez. Starlight, stars bright. First star she was bright. <laughs> Eddie. Eddie. What? So what the hell, oh, man? Oh, man. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? My own wife, Linda, plied me with alcohol, bound and gagged me, and left me in the woods to die. You seen Ann? Her accomplice, they did it together. Just give me a gun. Give me a gun. Let me get my darling wife in my Wait sights. Wait a second, Eddie. Hold on, man. This is really crazy, but the colonel's cheating like hell. Well, the women aren't so squeaky clean either. Well, it's wrong. The boss is waging his own private sexist war. Yeah, tell me about it. You want to know something? What? Van wants to take this job so bad. She can have it. What? Hey, man, she works harder than I do anyway. Yeah? Well, maybe I should be more of a team player at home, too, you know, if it's not too late with Linda. This hey, is... why don't we get the hell out of here? Absolutely. Although she did leave me in the woods to die. Come on, man. Come on, come on. What the hell? Oh, my God, what is it? Are you all right? Uh, was disgusting! I couldn't breathe. Oh. Somebody threw up in the air. Oh, this is too bad, darling. Could you stand back just a little bit? Who did this to you? Who else? The, the men. men. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, take me with you! Come on, but not too close. We're all that's left. So, what's the plan? Well, there aren't many choices. Oh, I will not be beat by that G.I. Joe jerk of a husband of mine. What are our options? Sneak attack. We did that. Take the ridge. We're not exactly a quorum here. Hey, how about our feminine wiles, huh? We'll lure them into the woods, take our clothes off, and... Ah! It won't work. My husband wouldn't budge. What we need is some finesse here. I got finesse. Right, but do you have a plan? Yeah. 
I know where the raft is. And I know the way to the man's cabin by way of the lake. Right. We go by water. You go by land. Do we know where we are? Oh, I thought Helga knew the territory. Is this a setup? The name is Koran. If you hadn't dropped the map overboard, we lose the map. Oh, ask a fool. Over. I'm getting wet. All right, the boat is sinking. Helga, get out. Oh, oh leaning on me. I'm getting wet. Oh, you are a big girl, aren't you? What kind of a craft is that? It's just that your side is leaking all the water in the boat. Oh yeah. Well, your can is no dumpling either. All right, give me that <laughs> beret. Would you two just stop that? All right. How do we know that this? SS Titanic is the spy sent via the Trojan toilet. Helga, get me up! What is it? What is it? Get me out of here! I don't want to say anything. My stuff is there. I'm not going to give you. Oh my God! Come on, come on, come on! He's gone. Now what? We have a leak. Of course we have a leak. Porky's in the boat. I hate you. Hell, man's having a better time than we are. I can't shoot you. Why not? Why didn't you shoot me? I still might. Yeah, you might. And you might not. What? You were right. I was wrong. I, I don't really want the Dinkman job. You're the one who deserves it. Really? Yeah. Really. You're the best man. Uh. You're the best uh, person we got, and then why are we here? That's what I'd like to know. Good work, Darwin. A regular matter, Harry. And I thought you might be a traitor. I'm pleased, boy. Take her away. I can't believe you would do this, Anne. Wait a second, Anne. I meant that. And you thought I didn't know the score, huh? <laughs> you see anything? Battle uh, faster, okay? I'm serious. Shut up! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate everyone who ever knew you. Shut up! Gotta hand it to you, Barnes. I'm impressed. Yeah. I didn't think you had it in you, but I was wrong. If you want Dinkman's job, it's yours. Of course, the war thing's gotta go. If our guys lose, morale goes belly up, and that stinks. Get my drift? You want me to lose? I wouldn't put it like that. It's just the vice president's gotta put the company's well-being over everything. So I think you ought to uh, lose. Well, I just think you ought to uh, make it easy on yourself. You gals can't win anyway. I'm going in. I'm going in. No. Hey, 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 hey. Well, what's taking you so long? You wanted the job. I'm offering you the job. You're not offering me a job. You're just covering your ass because you know we can beat you, and you're scared. All right, then you're fired. Get out. Fine, I quit. Hey, wait a minute. You can't leave. You're my prisoner. Hey, 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 break it up. Just break it up. I'm serious I'm here. Going. Hey. Stop her. Stop her. And... This is no time to fight. There's a war on. Hey. What about me? Oh, I'm standing. Oh, 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 oh
your husband. Oh, if I were your husband, I'd be running too. Oh, oh you know, you've been lovely. You haven't! I'm going home. Oh. Get me out of here! Why should I? You're a captive audience. You ready to listen? Not interested. Okay. See ya. Mark, wait! Wait. Are you gonna listen? You have nothing to say that interests me. All right, well, I bet it gets lonely in there. All right. All right. What, are you ready to listen? Yes. Talk. Mark. Oh, yeah. And? Uh. I love you, man. Okay, I said it. All right? Now I'm going to leave you alone. Mark, wait. Well, my dear, did we have a fall? Good work, Darwin, once again. Well, actually, sir, I didn't capture. No? no? She just fell in. And she's not my prisoner because I quit. You can't quit. You'd quit for me? Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you. No one quits this man's army. If you quit, I'll shoot her. You shoot her, I shoot you. If you shoot him, I'll shoot you. If you shoot her, I shoot you. Prince Samaka, raise your weapon! Well, actually, sir, I'm, I'm a pacifist at heart. Huh? Interesting predicament, eh, Colonel? Or should I call you Mess Hall Cook? Florence, put down the gun. You can't win. It seems we already have, honey buns. Because you haven't. That's a little esoteric, even for you, don't you think? Why so smug, ladies? Well, girls, who'd have ever thought? The situation has finally come up. Bob's is right. Prepare for anything. Hold it, Florence. What is going on? What are we doing? Speak up, soldier. I said, what are we doing? I'm not going to shoot you. Listen, if you want help around the house, I'll help you around the house. I'll, I'll be there for you, okay? I just... Just think, honey, this is crazy. I love you. I love you? This is war! Shut up! I'm warning you, Florence! Ah! Who is this guy? Sticky situation, huh, Ann? Warren, this doesn't concern you. You you better go home. I sense you you felt that way about us for a long time, but it wasn't until recently that I knew why. Hey, do you mind? We have a war on. Do you mind? I'm calling the shots now, so just button up. Warren, what's that look? Looks like gas to me. I won! Oh, boy, Warren, son, you're a goddamn hero. What the hell is that? <laughs> Mr. Marka, get the flag. <laughs> Looks like I went... Yep. <laughs> Stupid war. Stupid people. Stupid game. You lies. Just... <laughs> Ow. Some game, Jesus. You win. Yeah. I, I love you too, honey. You win. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is war! Well, actually, it's mutiny, sir. Mutiny? Tommy pacifist, punk. Hey, why don't we all try and get some breakfast? I don't think so. I got a lot of work to do around the house. Hey, honey, how about I make dinner? Oh! Hey, Darwin! Mr. Marker's out! I now have two vice president positions open. How about enlisting? No, oh, thank you. We're retiring from active duty. 
Where's everybody going? We still have a war on! Don't worry, old man. I'll finish the war with you. You? You're out of your league. Wipe up the dirt, you. This is a very exciting sight of you, Florence. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm very aroused, Florence. Ditto, darling. Come on, come on. Try it, come on, I dare you. I dare you. Go ahead. Give me a shot. Oh, my darling. Oh. oh, I didn't mean to kill you. I didn't mean to kill you. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Oh. Oh, please don't die. I don't care about the war. I don't want the company. You can have it. You can have the house. All right, you can have the chopper. All right, you win. Will you put that in writing? Never. What a woman. Uno, dos, one, two, tres, cuatro.
Gotta show the-